True Riches, Christian Daily Devotion. Scripture Reference, Luke 16, 11. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? There are basically two kinds of grace in the kingdom of God, common grace and uncommon grace. Common grace refers to those things that the Lord Jesus Christ paid for on the cross of Calvary through his death and resurrection. 2 Peter 1, 3, they are free gifts usually made available by grace. For instance, the scriptures clearly state that we are saved by grace, not of works lest any man should boast Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. Common grace can be activated by our faith which we release on the finished works of Jesus Christ. Examples of common grace include salvation, healing, deliverance, etc. Uncommon grace, on the other hand, is not among the aforementioned free gifts. They actually require us paying the price for it to be to accessed by us. When the Lord Jesus was crowned in heaven after he paid the ultimate price for the redemption of mankind, the 24 elders and the angels worshipped him. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing Revelation 5.12. You see, Jesus merited it because he paid the price for it. Another instance of a man that had in common grace was Solomon. After he offered a thousand burnt sacrifices on the altar, God appeared to him and endowed him with wisdom and wealth. Two Kings three examples of uncommon grace include wisdom, dominion, glory, honor, riches, strength, etc. One of the keys to true riches is faithfulness in financial stewardship, Luke 16, 11. The primary key to the faithfulness of God is making and keeping covenant with him. Faithfulness in financial covenant can open a man up for uncommon grace. Jesus was addressing the church of Laodicea in Revelation 3 verse 17 to 18. Because thou sayest, I am rich, increased in goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, and po, and blind, and naked. Verse 17 in the next verse, he recommended to them true riches which money cannot buy. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thyself, that thou mayest see. Verse 18. Prayer. Heavenly Father, please grant us by your Spirit the revelation of true riches, and give us the hunger and desire to go after them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.